live look outside. Yeah, we've been talking about the rainfall this morning. It's been a damp start to your day and it's going to stay that way. Now looking outside this morning uh, of the studio, the rain's been fairly light here in Des Moines, but we do have pockets of steadier rainfall uh, just to the south and west and even north. So really statewide, it's just going to be a wet day and a chilly one to start. An east wind at 14, making us feel like 42. So again, another batch of some steady rainfall pulling up into parts of southern Iowa this morning, southwestern Iowa as well, and then up around Highway 20 getting soaked to this morning. So when you're heading out, just prepare. You're going to stay uh, in the steady shower mode here through the morning. And then as we get into the afternoon, more scattered showers down to the southwest. Look at that Nebraska City, Creston, even Clorinda getting wet right now toward Lamoni. I can't even roll out maybe a clap of thunder here in the next couple of hours, especially as we start to get into that afternoon time frame. It's been uh, really uh, down in Kansas and Oklahoma where they had stronger storms overnight, uh, prompting severe or, uh, thunderstorm warnings in addition to flash flood warnings. And that's what you're seeing there for those uh, red polygons. Now, rain totals kind of vary across the state. Fort Dodge coming in with some higher totals, about four tenths of an inch, about three tenths in Ames, lesser amounts in Des Moines, and then about a quarter of an inch there in Ottumwa. So we can still can't rule out maybe around an inch or so, inch and a half, depending on where those steadier rain showers set up for today. So again, going to be a soggy morning and afternoon and even start to the evening. So prepare for a wet day. It's going to remain breezy as that wind turns to the south up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now getting into the afternoon and early evening east of Interstate 35 may have a few thunderstorms getting going and some of those could become strong as well. So you can see as we get into the afternoon, steadier rainfall will be up to the north and then we'll be in scattered showers south with storms east. And then overnight tonight, a few showers are still going to be around through tomorrow morning, but the overall trend for tomorrow will dry out. It's going to be breezy. The wind's going to be from the north northwest at about 25 to 30 and temperatures aren't going to get out of the lower 50. So a chilly day for you tomorrow. We brighten things up on Friday, warmer for Saturday. Could see some showers overnight, but drying out for Mother's Day, looking at a nice day 66 and then we're back to the 70s Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday.